Hey bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. If you're new here then welcome to the fam and if you're not then welcome back. I'm still too lazy to make a long intro but I'm trying. Okay. Thank you for your support and positivity. I'm truly thankful. Alright alright that's enough of me rambling some useless shit. On to the video. Get your teacups ready because this is some piping hot tea. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't then I'm going to manifest your death or have our wakatoshi cunt spike a ball into your mean ass or our baby core a server ball right into your head. You'll die either way lol. Oh and before I forget, please don't tell my master that his little bottle is making YouTube videos. He'll drown me in my own little and that's double homicide cause he's too broke to buy a new little bottle. Disclaimer, I don't own any of the characters, the art, or the songs used. This is simply a fan fiction written by no one other than me. The ideas portrayed in this video solely belong to the owner. Don't share my work in a form other than the video's link unless I grant you permission to do otherwise. Inappropriate language is being used and provocative images are sometimes displayed. If you're uncomfortable with yayoi, BL, or same gender relationships then please leave. Proceed only if you're older than 16. Eyes. Welcome to part 3 of the series. NGL this has been my favorite project so far. I'm so happy with the positive feedback I've been receiving since uploading part 1. I'm so grateful for why all's love and support and I can't thank you enough. I'm not really sure if there will be a part 4 but I'm taking my time with the plot and the events. No rushing in anything he. A lot happened and I'm just trying to get my shit together lol. I won't talk about it because it's a lot but if y'all want to know then tell me in the comments and I'll either write it down in the pinned comment or I'll make a post for it ha <laughs> I just hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'd really appreciate it if you followed me on TikTok and Instagram. The links are in the description box. I talked a lot Imeo. Now on to the video. Dots. To avoid confusion. This is Sakusa in Osamu's body. This is Osamu in Sakusa's body. And the king of this series. Polka dot brow bitch. And Rin Rin our babe. Bra I talk a lot. Onto the video for now. Dots. In Arizaki's gym. Osamu, Sakusa, was standing in a random corner of the gym. He seriously didn't know what to do. He didn't know how volleyball practice at an Arizaki was like. Someone come and save me. I'm lost. His eyes were scanning the court, looking for clues about what he's supposed to do. Elm's still a wing spiker, so the setter should set for me. And the setter is. His eyes stopped on Atsumu, while he was talking and smiling like an idiot at Kita. Of course, it's Atsumu Mia himself. He thought it would be too suspicious if he just stood in a corner doing nothing, so he decided to approach Atsumu himself. Atsumu. Toss to me. No. Huh? But practice. Elm mad at you so no. Kita-san. Let me toss to you. He then ran off after Kita. What the fuck was that? He just stared at Atsumu as he ran off. He couldn't quite register what just happened. But how the fuck am I supposed to practice? He muttered to himself and then decided to run a couple of laps around the court. The fuck is he doing? I have no idea. Let him be. He better fight with Atsumu later. My Facebook page is dying. Are you seriously posting them? I always did. What do you mean? Look at your own and your own boyfriend's reputation. There's no reputation to begin with. Him and Atsumu always fight. And that's a fact. Je gets to release his anger and I get the clout. It's a win-win situation. Dang. Man I'll never understand how his brain works. Me neither. Look at his stupid ass. He looks so lost. They were watching him from afar. I always feel like somebody's watching me. His head snapped in their direction and they all looked away. Hum. Weird. Wait. That reminds me, why was Suna so pissed off? What did Osamu do? 
Whatever. Osamu will deal with it later anyway. He then noticed Atsumu and Kita. Since when was he that close to Kita? Bruh. He made his way towards them. Hey captain. Since my B brother is being a little shit today and doesn't want to toss to me. How about both you and I take turns spiking his tosses? He had a small smile on his face as he was speaking. His blood was boiling though. Something about Kitta's calmness made him want to punch him in the face. Yeah that would be better. Spikin isn't my specialty anyway. But Kitta-san. I'm not tossing to Samu. Stop being childish. Now toss to him too. This is practice. Not a damn soap drama. Keeping up with the Mias. Shut up Sunarin. Just cause you got something up your ass doesn't mean that you can be annoying. Says the guy who always has something up his ass. What are they talking about? He mumbled. I have absolutely no idea. That's how they always are. Why are you so surprised? That ain't new for you. Tsumu. Get the fuck over here. Leave me the fuck alone. No injury. But. The fucking toss to me. Fine. Seriously? He bribed you with an injury? No. That's not how it looks like to me. What do you want sooner in? You want me to punch my brother in the face? Yes please. Fuck off. Fine. I'm too sore for practice anyway. Huh? He then looked back at Osamu. I knew it. Sammy you prick. You should have told me. Tell you what. P.S.S.S.T. Kitter. Yes. Omimi then started whispering to Kitter. What happened to Osamu's accent? Oh. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Ooh. That's weird. What are you two whispering about? Osamu's accent. What's up with it? Notice the way he speaks? His accent isn't there anymore. Oh. You should have told me that you talked sooner in. Oh fuck off. Leave me alone. Atsumi you bitch. Shut up. Suna threw a volleyball in Atsumu's face. You too Samu. He then threw another volleyball in Osamu's face. That's for not calling me in the morning to check on me. What if I died in my sleep? Would you be happy? If so then fuck off. If Suna breaks up with Osamu right now, would that be my fault? Yes. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. How do I even start? Suna. I deeply apologize if me not calling you caused you distress. No shit Sherlock. Whatever. Sooner in stop fucking with my brother. And what if I don't? I absolutely have no idea what's going on and I simply do not care but I am confused as fuck. I am confused too. I don't care though. Oh fuck you. You can't see me. Sammy yeah not fuck is in. Weren't you just being a cocky bastard a minute ago and refused to toss to me? I changed my damn mind. Of course you did. I will beat the shit out of both of you because I am so done with why all's bullshit. Guys. Shut up role model boy. Capital I. Oh my fucking god. Osamu, Sakusa, was so done at this point. He took a deep breath and then screamed at the top of his lungs. I have no fucking idea what is going on and I simply do not give a fuck. How about we shut the fuck up and actually practice? Sounds like an amazing idea right? Because that's apparently the reason why we are here at 8 in the fucking morning. Otherwise we would have been sleeping in and dreaming about fucking rainbows and roses. I am in no way happy to see your faces first thing in the morning but I have no choice. I end that matter so I am stuck with y'all till practice is over. So shut the fuck up and get back to practice. I am done. He then started breathing again, not realizing he's been holding his breath the entire time. Holy shit. Sammy you bitch. Since when were you so rude? What part of shut the fuck up and get back to practice did you not understand? Want me to say it in French? You don't even know French. 
You all shut the fuck up. The rest of the team was watching what going on. They were used to mirror twins outbursts but they were never directed at other members of the team. They were shocked to say the least. Kitter patted Eren's shoulder and that made him shut up. I'll take it from here. I don't know what's going on but Osamu is right. We should get back to practice. We already wasted so much time. And there's a practice match soon. And I don't think you'll be happy if we lost. We don't lose. No shit Sherlock. We don't lose but we don't win either. That's how it's like till the match itself plays out. Now go back and take position. Atsumu and Osamu had another quick to try out. Oh right. Samu get the fuck over here. I am here already, Dumbus. Bruh. As if I can't see. Take position. I'll set. Osamu, Sakusa, jumped to spike Atsumu's set. But his wrist snapped. Fuck. He was used to having his bendy wrist but Osamu didn't have that. It was painful. The bone snapped. What's up with you today? Atsumu was now concerned and he approached Osamu, Sakusa, who was holding his wrist and grimacing in pain. Oh no. My wrist. It's broken. What the? He ran over to him and touched his wrist. Damn it it's swollen. What did you even do? I was spiking. I think I bent it too much. He was fully aware that Atsumu was too close to him. And that made him nervous. He wasn't Osamu after all. You know damn well that yeah wrist ain't bendy. As if I didn't know. Wait. Kita-san. Kita was practicing his serves but he turned to Atsumu when he was called for. What is it? Osamu broke his damn wrist. What? Kita was definitely shocked. He didn't know what happened yet. He dropped the volleyball he was holding and ran over to them. What happened? Osamu, Sakusa, would be lying if he said he didn't want to smash Kita's head into the net. Why? He didn't know. He just didn't like him for some reason. TSK. I'm okay. Won't ya? I said I'm fine. I'll go ice it or something. Don't pay attention to me. He then walked away. Samu. The fuck is wrong with him? He yelled a bit so that Suna hears him. I have no fucking idea. I was messing with him earlier. I'm surprised he took that seriously. Since when was he a sensitive little bean? I have no idea. And I want to know what's up. What did you do to him? I did nothing. I have no idea what's going on. Shut up. I know you did something and I'm going to find out what it is. Suit yourself. At least act like you care. I do care. Yeah yeah. Osamu, Sakusa, was now in the locker room, icing his hand with a scowl on his face. He was internally cursing his existence for the millionth time today. He wanted to go home and hide under his blanket till this is all over. I hate this. He grimaced in pain when he moved his wrist. Fucking hell. He mumbled. What's up with you today? Suna was leaning against the doorframe, his arms crossed as he looked over at Osamu, Sakusa. Nothing. Doesn't seem like it. What did Sumu do? Nothing. He had no patience to keep the conversation going with Rin, he was already pissed off. Oh yeah? He walked over to where Osamu, Sakusa, was standing. Osamu took tiny steps backwards because he didn't know why Rin was getting so close. Uh. What? Happened. He was now right in Osamu's face. Osamu's back hit the lockers when he took another step back. What's up with you? I said nothing happened. You know I can tell when you're lying on? Suna spoke in a low voice as he locked Osamu in place, both his palms on either side of Osamu's face. Pressed against the locker. You're too close. Really? Is that something new? His face was millimeters away from Osamu's. I'm worried. Osamu, Sakusa, was now definitely blushing. Rin was too close and he was even hotter up close. Really? 
He was glaring at Suna. He hated the close proximity yet he couldn't bring himself to push him away. It would be weird if I'm not worried. You're my boyfriend after all. Not these words. Damn it Osamu. Osamu, Sakusa, tilted his head to the side to get away from Rin's piercing gaze. Only for Rin to grab his chin and force him to look up at him. You forgot one of the important rules. You look at me while I speak. Or should I remind you? Osamu, Sakusa, gulped. Holy shit, what kind of relationship do they have? He looked up at Rin and smirked. I know the rules. No need to remind me. Good boy then. Rin then leaned in and kissed Osamu, Sakusa, on the lips. What the? His eyes stayed open for a bit before he melted into the kiss. He knew he should push him away but he can't get caught. He must admit, Rin is a good kisser. Author's note, I won't get into details we're keeping this a bit appropriate. Want some smut? Read my fix on AO3. Link in description box. Osamu, Sakusa, lightly pushed Rin away when he felt his hand sneaking in under his shirt. We need to get back to practice. He was panting and he was confused. I cannot, under any circumstances, like this. My boyfriend is outside goddammit. Yeah, we have practice. Rin then let him go and then immediately left, leaving Osamu, Sakusa, puzzled. Nice try. Dots. Back to Sakusa, Osamu. They were on their way back to Sakusa's house. Kamori had to pay for the groceries because he lost their small race to the cleaning supplies aisle. Fuck you Kyo. I'm broke now. I'll make you more an injury later. Don't be sad. As long as you keep your promise. Oh really? Are you dubbed in me? No. You sure? Cause if you are then no an injury for you. I said I'm not doubting you. Sakusa, Osamu, chuckled at Kamori's words. He then stopped at a cake shop as they were walking. He noticed a certain bento cake that reminded him of Rin. Oi. We're having cake. My treat. Oh. Okay then. A smile formed on Kamori's face when he heard cake. Sakusa, Osamu, would be lying if he said he didn't want to see Kamori again. He'll definitely explain the situation once it's over and they'll meet up again. I made another friend and he's a good person and I can have him spill the tea on how Sakusa treats Tsumu because I swear to god I am waiting for a reason to snap at him. And he loves an injury too. Dot. Cough. What is it? First year wrist and now year chokin? Shut up. Dot. What cake do you want? A fudge would do. PFFT. Basic. Sakusa, Osamu, ordered a fudge for Kamori and a carrot cake for himself. EWW who the fuck eats carrots in cake? I do. And you have absolutely no taste if you say EWW. Author's note, now I'm craving that carrot walnut cake from Starbucks. Fuck you Samu. Shut up. I won't. Basic bitch. Who are you calling a basic bitch? I'm calling you a basic bitch. Now will you let me pay for your yeah, damn food or nah? Go ahead and pay. Yeah sure. Dot. It looks disgusting. Just because it's not yet taste doesn't mean it's disgusting. Moron. Why are you slandering me? Just because. Mean. No injury. Fine. You're the best. PFFFT. Just like Tsumu, bribed with an injury. Bet they're friends. Are you ignoring your boyfriend? Huh? You haven't called him today. Do I call him every day? Three times yes. Did you forget? Of course not. Fuck I forgot. Atsumu is always on the phone with Sakusa three times a day. Clingy bastard. Dot. Achoo. Dot. Oi. FaceTime him. I haven't seen him in a while. No. But why? Just because. Come on. Pretty please. Author's note. Samu about to kill a bitch. 
Fine. He actually called him and he answered. It was noon already at the time. Ring. Huh? He's faced him and me. He picked up the call and looked at the screen. His camera was on as well. Omi Omi. I missed ya. Uh. He noticed Atsumu was wearing one of his shirts. Atsumi ya bastard. The fuck are ya wearing my shirt without permission for your prick? Huh? The fuck are ya talking about? I'll only have some of ya hoodies. None of them are shirts. Atsumu then realized something. No one calls him a prick other than Samu. And he noticed the way Omi spoke. And how he FaceTimed him. It all clicked together. Oh shit. Yeah yeah in trouble. Atsumu then looked over at Osamu who was walking beside him with a mask on his face. He was horrified to say the least. And it was evident on his face. Hey Tsumu. Haven't seen you in a while. Kamori pushed himself into the frame and waved at the camera. Oh. Kamori is there too? Hi there. Oh. Kamori. Rin is here with us. Rin say hi. Leave me alone. Atsumu pointed the camera at Rin who was walking with him and Osamu, Sakusa, and he didn't look the least bit interested. Damn he looks like he hates this. He does. But we don't give a flying fuck. Oh. Rin. The fuck do you want? He answered to his name. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm sorry I couldn't call ya. Some shit happened. Who are you again? Rin ya ho. That's Omi my damn boyfriend. Oh right. I forgot you can actually pull guys. My bad. Yeah boyfriend looks exactly like me. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Means exactly what you think it means. Samu is the better twin. Come here and let me punch ya. And why would I willingly do that? Sakusa, Osamu, just fell silent as he watched Atsumu and Rin bicker. He felt empty. Atsumu. Is Osamu with ya? Yeah he is. Samu get the fuck over here. Omi wants to talk to ya. Huh? The camera was pointed at him and his eyes went wide when he saw Sakusa, Osamu. Why the fuck are you not wearing a mask in public? Why the fuck are you wearing one in the first place? You look weird. Sorry to break it to you but I still have my germophobia even when I'm not in my own body. I can tell. Rin was paying attention because he had some doubts. And they were confirmed. Atsumu was busy trying to punch Rin so he didn't notice what was being said. Dots. To be continued. Thanks for watching. I'll start working on part 4 as soon as I can. Exams are fucking me ATM. Love you all. I'm too lazy to make an outro. Tell my master that I'm making YouTube videos and I'll have my fellow Lissel Bottles kick your ass. Thanks for watching.